This is a video about solving starred problem 3.2.18, finding the amount of principal that is repaid in the first year of an amortized loan that's got monthly payments and a varying interest rate. The interest rate's just going to change once. It is still a discrete problem. An amortized loan of 1000 is to be repaid with 24 monthly payments starting one month after the loan, so the payments form an annuity immediate. The nominal interest rate convertible monthly is 9% for the first 18 months and 12% for the first final six months. Find the amount of principal repaid in the first year, the first 12 payments. Actually, the book's problem also says to construct an amortization table, but I'll focus on this in the video. Making our timeline. These are going to be months. So we've got the first 18 months being an important with the 9%. Uh, nominal interest rate convertible monthly and then the last six months we change the interest rate. It doesn't say it but evidently the payment must be level. Let's call the payment as we usually do K. That's, that's assumed to be a level payment. The present value of the stream of payments is the same as the loan amount. That's our basic principle to determine the payment K you can break the stream up into the first 18 payments that have the 9% interest rate convertible monthly and the last six that have the 12% interest rate convertible monthly. So with the first group of 18 payments, the present value is going to be K times A18 uh, uh, 0 0.09 divided by 12 will be 0 0.0075. There's your monthly interest rate. And with the last six payments, we've got K times A6 with 0 0.01, 12% divided by 12, but then we also have to discount that by 18 months because this is going to give the present value for the stream one period before the first payment there at time 19. It's going to be the present value at time 18. So I have to multiply by V to the 18th, where this V corresponds to the interest rate of 9%. I could put a subscript 0 0.0075 here if I like. So that will help us figure out K, which is probably a good thing uh, to help us finish the problem. If we can find the balance at time 12, either with the prospective method or the retrospective method, once we find K, that's going to help us solve the problem, problem because the principal repaid will be the loan amount minus the outstanding balance at time 12. All right, so let's work this out. Let's go ahead and factor the K out like this. And then we'll make use of the calculator. And as I have been doing recently, we calculate the present values here without writing down the formulas. You should definitely have those formulas memorized enough to, to do this. Uh, so for this one, take 1.0075, take its reciprocal to get the V, raise that to the 18th power, subtract from 1, divide by 0 0.0075. This value here, this A is 16.779. Let me go ahead and store that in register 0. I'll put a little zero here to remind myself of that. Uh, let's go ahead and figure out this and store that in register one. So take 1.0075, it's reciprocal, raised to the 18th power. That quantity is V to the 18th. I'll store that in register one. And put a little one here. This one will be 1.01, .01. take the reciprocal, raised to the sixth power, subtract from one, divide by 0 0.01. I won't bother storing that. I need to multiply it by what's in register zero times, or, uh, what's in register one, excuse me, recall one. Now add on what's in register zero. This quantity looks to be about 21.845. Divide both sides by that. So take the reciprocal of this times 1,000. The value of K would round to 45.78, but let me include more decimals. And I will now store this in register zero. So this is the new thing stored in register zero. All right, 
Now let's come back to finishing the problem. Again, if we can find the outstanding balance at time 12, just after that 12th payment, we can subtract that number from the loan amount, the 1,000, to find the amount of principal that is repaid during the first year. So what is the outstanding balance at month 12? Let's, we've got time, I think, here. It's a, not too long of a video. We can probably solve this with both the retrospective and prospective methods to see that we get the same thing. The retrospective method looks back in time. It takes the loan amount, 1,000, at time 0, and promotes it to time 12 here in this case by multiplying by 1.0075 to the 12th power and subtracts off the future value at time 12 of these first 12 payments here. That would be... Um, K S 12.0075. So this should be the outstanding balance at time 12. And let's see what it gives us. Uh, let's see. Let's take 1.0075 to the, oops, 1.0075 to the 12th power times 1,000. I'll go ahead and just write that down rather than storing it. And I'll carry a couple more decimal places than I really need. 1093.8069, say. I've got K stored in register zero, so find S12. Take 1.0075 to the 12th power, minus one, divide by 0 0.0075, this value S here is about 12.5076. Multiply that by K, which is stored in register 0. And we get about 572.5519. Do this difference now. Subtract this from 1093.8069. We get an outstanding balance of 521.26 which is correct and would make our final answer 1000 minus that which would be 478.74 I'll write that down in a minute but let's also double check the outstanding balance at time 12 with the prospective method thinking of this balance as the present value of the remaining payments so this would be you've got uh, six payments here K A 6.0075 and then add on, you've got another six payments there that need to also go back by six periods from time 18 to time 12. You'd have V.0075 to the sixth, KA6.01. This should give the same thing. I'll factor out the K. Like this. All right, let's see if we get the same thing. All right, let's calculate this first. 1.0075, looking right here, reciprocal to the sixth power. Subtract from one, divide by 0 0.0075. I'll store that in register one. This V is this the sixth power, I'll store that in register two. You know, if you can remember where you stored things in what register, you don't need to write those things down. Now to do this A, 1.01, .01, reciprocal, sixth power, subtract from one, divide by 0 0.01, multiply by what's in register two, add what's in register one, and now multiply by K, which was in register zero, there we have it. Again, 521.26. I hope you feel amazed about that, you know, that things can work out right. Um, I'm always very happy when I check things in two different ways and I get the same answer. So again, the final answer for the amount of principal, amount of principal repaid in the first year, the first 12 payments, is going to be the loan amount minus the outstanding balance at time 12, 1,000, minus 521.26, that will be 478.74. And that's the answer to the problem.
And here is the problem if you want to look at it again.